We are going to look at how to digitally paint in a free online website called JS Paint. This way you can make logos or your superhero figure. This is the JS Paint app. It is free and can be used online for digital drawing. It's also probably the easiest paint app because it acts much like Microsoft Paint did in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. So I am going to go ahead and make this bigger by clicking this bottom square or bottom rectangle. And I'm going to do some painting of a logo. If I also choose to do a figure towards the end, I'm going to do the figure on this side. Before the logo, I might start with a circle. And as long as you have a closed shape, you can use this paint bucket to fill it in. So if I were starting with that logo and then I wanted to use the paintbrush, I'm gonna make this bigger and I'm gonna paint a panda head on here. I'm going to start by giving myself some general shapes and then add more details as I go. If you have not used painting programs before, be patient with yourself. I am filling in shapes and now I'm going to get my fill bucket and now I'm going to go back to black to start doing some details. I've realized that I want my ears to be black but I can't have this background be black as well so I'm going to go ahead and double click and a menu to select a color is going to come up. I'm gonna go with a lilac. And now that I've done that, I can click this black and put my ears and my details back. And then I want to add some bubblegum circles. And I think I'm going to choose this down here, which will pick a fill color. And do you see how I have two colors right here? I'm gonna pick this first one to be a pink, and I'm gonna go for a lighter pink. And then I'm gonna pick where I have the black one. Oops. I'm gonna pick that to be a darker pink. And here's what's gonna happen. Because I selected this one, which has an outline and a fill, when I go to make these circles, it's going to go ahead and fill them in for me. So I'm going to just add circles going around this logo, and I'm gonna give the panda a bubble gum. And now I think I want to change the whole background color. So if I was interested, I can also use this to crop. So I'm gonna go down here and select my drawing and make it bigger. Change the center. bring it over and then I have some tools here can I use a crop tool no it does not appear so hmm all right well that's fine I can simply can I select a section off and delete it what will happen if I do that excellent so now that I've placed that in the center I can create my own Crop here. So what you're saying is if I select you, it makes a pink border. Ooh. All right. I like that. I'm going to file, save, and it is going to download it so that I have a picture copy on my computer. 
To show you the figure, I'm just going to go ahead and start a new one by clicking File, New. It's going to ask if I want to save it, and I don't, so I will hit Discard because I've already saved it as a file. I'm again going to drag that bottom corner to make my canvas bigger. And if I'm drawing a figure, what I'm going to do is first pick out a paintbrush and a skin color. If I double click any of these colors, a color selection menu will come up. And many of the skin colors can be found in the warm range, the closer you get to white. And then we can also add more shade to it by making those darker. So I am going to start by getting a skin color that I would like to use. And I'm going for that creamy peanut butter brown. There we go. I think that's a, maybe a little more. All right, so now that I've got my skin color, what I'm going to do is create the figure. And the figure is currently going to have no details, no clothing, just the body pieces. So here's my head, my neck, and my body. I now have my hips, and I need to decide what do I want to do with the legs and what do I want to do with the arms? I'm going to make this leg go out and then back and then there's my foot. I'm going to make this leg go out even further as if this person was running. If you feel like something has become too big, it's okay with digital drawing. There are no eraser marks when you go to erase, like, whoa, that arm just got way, way, way too big down here. And I am going to make this arm coming across this way. And I am going to give my person a piece of bamboo later. So now that I've got this figure done, I am going to take the fill bucket and I'm going to start filling in these shapes. If I had created less closed shapes, I'd have a little bit less work to do. Now that I've got the outline shape of my figure, I'm going to go in with my eraser and I'm going to clean up some of these lines. If you make a mistake and erase a little bit too much, you can go back and add some more in. So I'm going to go there and across here. And across. Remember with digital drawing or any drawing, it doesn't need to be perfect, especially if it's your first time. Drawing with a computer can be difficult. So now that I have my figure in motion, I can start adding the details like a costume. I am going to go ahead and pick some. Oops, I want to use black. I'm still using the eraser. No wonder. Control Z. I'm going to go back to my brush and I am going to now mark out where I want the shoes. And if I want the shoes and I've closed that off, I can do this and now I've got shoes. I am going to give this person a pair of shorts. I want to do that by using the brush tool and I'm going to go over if I want the shorts to be the same width as the skin I can make these lines to cut this area off and use the paint bucket but if I wanted the shorts or I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a skirt I can also draw 
and connect some of those lines to create over. And then use the paint bucket to fill in the spaces in between. So now that I have that, I can start on the top. I am going to give her that lavender yellow and we'll give her a tank top. And I have to remember that I've got my arm here that's coming across the body. So when you build the skin first and the whole figure or shape person, it's a lot easier to fill in these other things and add the clothes on. If you try to draw the clothes first, you are probably going to notice that it's pretty hard to figure out the right proportions and your person may look big in some areas and small in others. Right now this arm is way bigger than this arm, but it's okay. This is just some practice. If I were to draw this again and again, I'd probably get even better at it. I'm going to give her a cape. And now I'm going to use the paint bucket. Whoa, what happened? It filled in the whole background. Do you see this little area right here? It's not a closed shape. And because it's not a closed shape, it means that it filled in not just this area, but the, all the area around it. So now that I've closed the shape and I try again, it's only filling in that section. And I am going to go ahead and give her a darker outline. Just to add some details. I'm going to get a smaller brush for the mouth and I'm going to keep it really simple. Get the pupil in there, get the pupil in there. All right, and now I'm going to add some hair. I'm just going to give her the same color hair as her cape. And for her, I put her hair only on the top of her head because I'm going to make her a mask. And I'm gonna start with a light gray to outline where I'm doing the mask. And now that I have the mask, let's get some other details in. It may help you to zoom in. If you go to view, zoom, Oh, where'd she go? Do you see this bar at the bottom? I'm going to scroll over and she's much bigger. I can also scroll down with this bar on the side. Sometimes zooming in helps for details or if you wanted to go slower. If you don't know what color you selected, this eyedropper tool can be really helpful. When I click on here and I find that skin tone, it immediately selected the brown, which means when I use my paintbrush to fix that one spot, it's easy to do. Zooming in also helps for these small details if you feel like you need to fill them in. And for me, I'm going to use my eraser now. And go ahead and clean up that. And I am going to go ahead and clean up this area since this arm is so much bigger. All right. I'm now going to zoom out, view, zoom, normal size. 
sweet. Now if I really wanted to, I could make her and put her in the sky. Yes to this color. And I can spray paint in some clouds. Hmm. I should probably make this blue a little bit darker. Because I can't see the clouds. Uh-oh. Paint bucket. There we go. Now I can use the spray can. And I can start painting some clouds. You don't have to do a figure. Um, if you would rather just focus on the logo, I find that to be easier. But if you wanted to, you could make a whole picture or you can add the figure. Again, if you start with the skin, it's going to be a lot easier than trying to start with the clothes.